See, there's an interesting statistic that 90 plus percent of millionaires and billionaires and affluent individuals all hold real estate. When it comes to generational wealth, first of all, I think people really don't know what that means. And so it's a term that is utilized from a social media standpoint, although it is extremely important. Whenever I'm asking a client, what is generational wealth? And I say, first, let's break down that term. How long is generations? And they usually say forever, or they don't know it's forever. Then I say, how long should wealth last? They would say forever. So I'm like, so what are you doing currently to put yourself in a position to make sure that your wealth lasts forever? And there's very few gangs on this planet that allows you to do that if you are not holding real estate. See, there's an interesting statistic that 90 plus percent of millionaires and billionaires and affluent individuals all hold real estate. And when you look at all of the families that hold monopolies in different areas, whether it's the Rothschilds, whether it's the Hiltons, whether it's the JW Marriott family, like they all hold real estate, which is why their wealth lasts generations. So in order to actually have or build some form of generational wealth, you have to own real estate. And so that's why I come to break down the barriers and the misconceptions and getting people to understand the only way you can do that is you have to hold the properties forever. But because you have so many people that are chasing this exclusive or elusive fantasy or fallacy of what they think wealth is, people have confused making money with wealth. And those are two completely different things. And so the only thing that you can do to amass generational wealth is you have to have something that will pay you forever in spite of you. And that is holding real estate.